MTV is off to another trip, this time to Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. But, um, the bloody producer is also bloody on his bloody designer chair and setting up some bloody challenge again. As usual. As usual. And he's also set up the forfeit, I'm sure, where if we fail, we yeah. can do something silly. Yeah. We'll find out later. But anyway, let's enjoy the fight. And, and give, get out of the give, way. Give way. <laughs> or we can just block, block the way for this. <laughs> DRTV's being sent to Amsterdam. We're being given the good treatment. VIP lounge, which we were very calm about. We are actually ahead of our other business class passengers. Yeah, we, 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 we. Business class seats, which we're used to. And boarding early, which means we can play about with the seats. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, you know, not bad. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, we're used yeah. to it. Yeah, used, used to it. Used to it. What were your thoughts? What were you imagining Amsterdam to be like? Actually, my first impression of uh, Netherlands or Holland is when I was really small, I saw Kiwi Edward of um, Milk brand. It's a little bit like Sound of the Music, uh, <laughs> singing in the field. Mm, right. Well, Locke might be very disappointed by the Milk in Holland then. It was incredibly nice of the Dutch people to give me such a warm welcome. I must look tired from that long flight because they don't seem to recognise me. The bloody producer wasn't such a tight bum this time and he got us a car. Nice little surprise. Oh, thank you. That's my luggage. Yes. yes. I just keep on, keep on shooting so I don't have to remove stuff. Oh, I have to shoot. Yeah, but we're the two drivers, so we're going to have fun. Unfortunately, as it turned out, that nice little surprise was a sugar-coated piece of poo. Kind of safe. Hey, what's that? Why, why is there a pink envelope there? The bloody producer. Wow. Yeah, why does he have to always speak to us? It's annoying. The challenge is that we have three days to visit nine locations, finishing before the sun sets on the third day, around 9pm, with a number of little silly tasks thrown in throughout. If we don't complete it... Oh, costume again. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that is freaky. The bloody producer is, is, is freaky as well. If we don't complete it, then we have to wear the Teletubbies costumes for the remainder of our journey back to Hong Kong, to the airport, and on business class. Failure is not an option. Then we checked into our hotel, and I decided to take one of Locke's room card keys. He doesn't need two of them, and he doesn't need to know either. We've just got one card key for that. So we keep that safe. Oh, that's all right. I will remember that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright, see you. So, um... Spare room card keys are always useful, in case someone takes one of them. After dropping our stuff off at the hotel, we realised that we were missing something they don't provide in European hotels. Toothbrushes. No matter, because we did a bit of research into this. There was a shop that sells dental hygiene stuff. Only that. Just got to find it now. Oh, let's, let's follow that. Let's get that guy with the box. Hello, uh, where is a uh, tendon winkle? Oh, uh, the tooth... You can speak English? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Where, where's the toothbrush shop? Toothbrush shop. It's a good question. That's okay. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Excuse me. Uh, where is... Uh, that <laughs> tampon winkle, a ten 
Where, and which store? Uh, the toothbrush shop. There's a toothbrush shop. Uh, toothbrush. Um, yeah, as it turns out, even delivery men speak better English than some of the people I know back in the UK. Yes, so yep. we bought our toothbrushes. Yes, bought it for, for each, each other. other. What'd you get? Being very sensible. A wooden oh. toothbrush. <laughs> you, like. for, you like it, right? Well, anyway, I've got this for a Lambie, Angry Bird. Sometimes well, you are angry, well, so this is uh, Well, thank you. So I bought this for Kai. A magenta? Yeah, magenta colour. Because this toothbrush is brushed all three surface of the, of the tooth teeth. Inside, outside, and the top. So okay. it's for lazy very people. good for lazy people. Excellent. That's useful. That is actually really useful. Good. Um, we can go and brush our teeth Let's now. brush our teeth before they rot away. <laughs> and we're left with just <laughs> sorry, blackness. Then I got a bloody call from the bloody producer. Hi, I've set you up some bicycles. Your first task is to cycle around Amsterdam. Well, what was the point of the car then? It's Amsterdam. It's famous for bicycles. And you're getting that mixed up with China. That's, that's, that's the place that's famous for bicycles, isn't it? No, goodbye. Yeah. All right. The start of the first day of the challenges, and we've been given a set of wheels each. So we've got the car rental, obviously, so we can get bicycles. We've been given bicycles, and we have to do the first thing we've got to do is to cycle around Amsterdam. Yeah. Um, but obviously. Good. More sightseeing stuff, yeah. Exactly, mm. you know. But anyway, we've got our ideal travel cameras. We've yes. each picked a camera each for travelling. And yeah. Lambie's got... I've got the X100S. Well, you know, no, I really like it. It's small, it's light and it looks good. That's the important thing. It fits, you know, it fits my outfit and all that stuff, so yeah. And yeah, viewfinder, yeah. Perfect for travelling, you know. Travel light. Locke also thinks the same, that's why he's got a GH3. Yep. Yeah. Well, I always like Michael Forford. I have an uh, EP1. First, it's not as big as DSLR. And second, I can uh, do very good video with this one. Very like decent video. That's what we're video. doing just now. Yep. When I take video, the autofocus is really good on this one. It's yeah. almost like a camcorder. Really? What about you? I've got the ultimate in terms of quality. <laughs> yes, in terms of quality. You know, Douglas, he took the, the Holger home, so I, I took his favorite one. So, um, this is the ultimate in terms of quality. You can't compromise on these kind of things, so why not bring the best? Got a Phase 1 IQ160 back and a 645DF Plus and a Schneider Crotch Snatch 80mm f2.8 lens. Yeah, I'll have fun with a uh, wider bicycle with this. Carrying that, yeah. That's fine. I'll hide the, I'll hide oh, yeah, the, sun is out. the sun and oh, I'm cool. going to hide the kind of the, the toughness. I mean, you can't see that I'm in pain and stuff like that. So. And you'll be sweating pretty soon. Despite the initial disappointment of having to use primitive methods of transport, we bravely went on ahead. The journey, a tour around the pipe, the, the, the pipe, the, the, the pipe, pipe. Oh, whatever, you can see it on the screen. Motorists usually find cyclists annoying, but the cyclists rule here. The phase one is a hefty beast, but just look at those gorgeous files. Even at 100% crop, they look utterly stunning. It seems like the team was starting to enjoy a little fresh air ride through town. Most of us, anyway. Oh yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Oh yeah, check them out, they're light cameras there. Small sets of cameras. Full frame? How about bigger than that? Bigger than full frame? Eat that. But um, for now, I just need to eat something and uh, have a bit of a rest. The GH3 is probably the most convenient to use one handed, with most of its controls on the right side, and being plastic, fantastic light. We were having so much fun, we didn't notice that the bloody producer had left us a little voicemail. So that's it. Get gifts for each other and then use them. 
Okay, so uh, got a voicemail from the bloody producer. Now we have to buy gifts for each other, Dutch gifts, like a, a proper Dutch. And then we use it for the bike ride. Yeah. Okay, I'll okay. A lot of shopping. Um, Actually, uh, I've got. Shopping malls around there. I've got a good idea. So, uh, I've got uh, a good idea I'll as well. Um. A few moments later. You know what? I've got some really, really good stuff for um for one of them. Yeah. Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh! Scared me. Um, really Dutch. Yeah, very, I've gone very Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. I've gone Dutch. So. Got something okay. for you, Alambi. Oh, oh no! no. no. <laughs> oh, it's Dutch. Yeah. Well, I got, I got something for you, Kai. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um. Enjoy, enjoy <laughs> winding with. That's for you. What? You got the same for lock. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting? Okay. Um, um. Have a look. Have a look. Oh no. <laughs> oh come on. You guys just don't have. Wow. Well, we we don't have that much. I mean, imagination. <laughs> You said Dutch! Clocks said Dutch. made of wood. Not what you'd see used at Tour de France. Well, you'd probably see mainly performance enhancing drugs used at Tour de France, oh. allegedly. But the point oh. is, it's going Ooh, to kill our feet. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Duh. Oh, there's poo here as well. There's poo everywhere. Just lose, losing it. Poo! Poo! Ah, oh, it's very loose! Cycling around with clogs on is not that fun. They're not exactly designed to um, stay on your feet that well. Ow! Whoa! People looking at us. Oh, it's a car. Oh no! I'm trying to get my clog back. Let's get off the bike. Oh no! Oh no, he, he wants to pack. pack. Oh, he wants Ah, hang oh. on, hang on. Meanwhile, while Locke has gone off there, we've got our normal shoes on. Don't tell him. <laughs> this is funny, isn't it? It's funny. Isn't it? It's funny. He's like, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Should, we, should we go to the um, cafe now? Let's, let's just. Let's it's looking on. back. <laughs> oh. oh no. He found Quick, out. Let's go. Go, 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 go. He can't ride fast anyway. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh. Um, I'll go first. Three point turn. Oh. <laughs> Three point no. turn? What? Thankfully, we are to arrive at our second location. Okay, so this is our second location. Um, Heineken experienced. Oh, that's, that's cool. It turns out that the bloody fuse has got some good taste after all. He's not just into yeah. cheap alco pops. So. so we can go in and have some beer, right? Yes. Oh, oh, drink and drive. Drink and, drink and ride. Um, this is the Heineken experience, an educational all stuff beer related, and more specifically the history of Heineken and how it's made. There's plenty of people taking photos here. The phase one is, well, better in good light. You can take it up to higher ISOs, but it can get a bit noisy. To commemorate your visit, you can put your name on a bottle, or other words. No rude ones apparently though. No rude words. <laughs> yep. No rude words. Kicks. Kicks bum. It would seem like I haven't picked the right camera, but that's all right when you have beer. Well, perhaps not for Locke. I think he's having way too much of the old Dutch courage. Oh, you okay? You okay? Yeah. Disaster. This is not gonna work out. He gets sleepy after like two sips. Exactly. He had like he's had three. three. Anyway, cheers. You really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the kick bump bit? Oh yeah. yeah it's right there. Okay, we no. have to go to the next location. Oh, we've still got we, we, we can't we we've can't got other stuff to do. Hey, we can't, we've got yeah. other stuff to do and I can't close this. Oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, I've done it. Hey. I um, think I have to go back to the hotel. I think I have to take taxi. I can't ride anymore. No, you have to take bike. Who's gonna? Who's <laughs> we, gonna? We can't wait, wait, take wait, two bikes. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, wait, wait. No. Oh, he's gonna, no. He's gonna taxi. Oh. We're just gonna ditch that. Let's ditch that and no, that no, needs no, deposit but, on. But you paid the deposit. Oh, no. 
Oh, um, no, I forgot that. Locke, looking a little worse for wear, decided to take a seven-seater taxi back to the hotel to sleep it off, because we still had one more location to go to that day. A little bit later, <laughs> Lambie and me decided to head back to the hotel also to check up on Locke. Luckily, we still had that spare card key that we borrowed from him without asking. In the next episode, top tips on how to hack into Locke's room. We go ghost hunting, a little surprise for Locke, and also windmills. Oh. Ugh.